Welcome back to Baking with Kiana. I know it's been a while since I did my last baking video, but that was due to the holidays, which I hope you guys had a wonderful holiday. I know I did. Um, I helped bake some of the desserts for Thanksgiving. I made a con pie, an apple pie, and a cake, which check out my easy pecan pie recipe video up here. And for my frosting for the cake, I actually used one of my own videos too. And then for Christmas, I helped make some of the desserts, which were cookies and a cake. So I'm gonna be trying something different. I called it a keche, but my mom told me the correct way to say it, which was quiche. Some of you got an air fryer for Christmas. That's a popular gift. My mom has one, so I'm gonna be using hers, obviously. So I'm excited to share with you guys that I'm going to make a quiche in the air fryer. My first time doing both. And I'm super excited to share this moment with you guys. Now it's time to introduce our ingredients. Green and yellow bell peppers. You can use onions, ham, mushrooms, whatever you decide. Shredded cheddar. Melted unsalted butter. Milk. Three eggs. Onion powder. Salt and pepper. Last but not least, for my crust, my tater tots. Usually you would use pie crust, but I'm gonna be using tater tots. I'm going to preheat my air fryer to, I'm press, first gonna press bake, and then it'll already preheat to 325, and then you just let it preheat. Now it's time to mash the tater tots. I'm going to be doing this by hand, but you can do it with a mixer, whatever you want. Ew, this actually feels good. When you're finished crumbling up your tater tots, they should look like this. Now, you're going to get your pan, pie pan, about eight inches, and now you're just going to start forming a pie. Now you just wanna press it around to make it firm. Add as much as you need to. So once you are done pressing your tater tots into your pie pan, it should look kind of like this. Now, take your butter and drizzle it on top. So that's all done. And then you have a little edge to just pour it around. Air fryer is already preheated, so just I'm going to add that. but. I want to tell you guys a little trick that I learned. So this is just a piece of foil and I learned that once I put my pie crust in, I can't get it out. So I made this little thing to where you have two long sides, you need it long, you just slip it under your pie, pie pan and then make sure you have two flaps, put it in and then you just pull it and take it out. Easy as that. Now it's time to put my hash brown crust into my air fryer. You just want to pull it out. And then once you add the little flap, it should look like this. Then you just put it in, put it down. And now you're going to put it in for about 10 minutes. Now we are going to make the mixture to put in our pie crust. So first, you need to combine your bell peppers or whatever you use. Your cheese. Usually you would use onions, but I'm going to use onion powder instead. And then you don't have to add a lot, just enough to give it flavor. Okay, so my air fryer has reached its minute mark. Now we are going to put our stuff into so you just you want to um, put enough in to cover to cover and now it is time to mix up my other ingredients so for this one I need my eggs my milk the salt my pepper now I'm going to mix it all up I don't know if you can see it but it should look a little bit like that 
I think it's my first time making a kitchen. Quiche as a kitchen. Now put it back in for about 15 minutes. Put it in for about 15 minutes. So that looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. So now we have to let it cool for about 20 minutes. Now it's time to take my quiche out of the air fryer. Oh, I hope my trick works. Really hope it does. I'm having some trouble leveling it. And this is the moment of truth. Come on. Come on. It's going to work. It's going to work. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. It worked. It's not even hot, so you can just easily pull it out. Make sure that it's even and in the middle. Here's how it looks after everything we did. And now it is time to try my first quiche. Okay. Um, too many bell peppers. I have officially made my first quiche and I'm very excited because it turned out better than I actually expected it. But I will have to say that I will change a few things next time I make it. So thank you for sharing this experience with me. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share 